All right. Well, hey, let's get started. Uh, welcome, everyone. This is uh, Getting Started, Laser 101. Uh, and I am your host, Danny Martinez. And um, we're going to be uh, going over quite a few things today. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody. I know some of you uh, have been waiting very patiently for this course to be released. So I appreciate everyone. Uh, uh, we're definitely still going through a lot of challenges over here. Uh, good challenges, you know, just uh, growing quickly and, and trying to figure out how to how to adapt to, um, you know, a large client base. And so this is uh, one of the things I think is really going to help. So this is going to allow us to spend more time with everyone, you know, giving more information. And, um, and you guys still have the opportunity, obviously, to call in and, and get support whenever needed. So don't feel like um, this is a substitute for uh, the support that you were promised. Uh, you know, if you need some one-on-one -on -one with one of our instructors or our techs, uh, that's just a phone call away. All right, so uh, let's get going. Uh, here are a few prerequisites that uh, I think will give you the most out of this orientation. Um, I highly recommend that uh, your machine's unpacked. Um, hopefully you've checked it for damage. If you haven't, please do, especially the laser tube. You know, that's fully made out of glass. So uh, sometimes that does get damaged during transit. And so, um, and that's all right. Just call in the office and they'll get a support ticket started for you. And we'll make sure we get you squared away. Uh, now your laser, you should have the chiller filled with water. Um, the exhaust should be set up and uh, the alignment. You know, if you haven't gone through that alignment procedure, um, that's the last step before you can really actually get started in, in using your machine. Um, and your software, Lightburn should be installed and, and the device should be set up. Uh, that was at the bottom of your alignment instructions. Uh, and that also had with it um, your Lightburn key. Um, and if you have time, the beginner walkthrough that Lightburn provides, um, they have it actually as a document. Um, actually, it's a, they've got documents. They actually have a, a, a nice little uh, website dedicated to their support. Uh, but they also got this really great uh, UI walkthrough on YouTube. So I linked you guys to that stuff uh, when I invited you to this. Uh, so if you had a chance to see that, that's going to really go over uh, a lot of the design aspect and just where, where everything is in Lightburn, all the tools and whatnot. This course is really going to start focusing more on um, what happens after you have a design in Lightburn. So they've already done such a great job documenting everything. Um, on how to get started with it. Uh, we're just gonna pick up where they left off and start showing you things about you know, how and why um, you do certain things to program the laser. Uh, so this is gonna be heavily focused on um, someone that already has a job ready and now they're just going to set it up and get it sent over to the machine. And uh, here's what we're gonna learn today. Uh, I've got 10 things I really wanna go through, uh, safety, is, is our top priority. There are uh, a few things here that I really want to instill in everyone. And then uh, how your laser actually works. Uh, this I find really helpful to just kind of ease the anticipation of learning this thing. And, you know, it is intimidating, especially if you got a large machine from us. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to break it down into some simple systems that will make it a little less uh, scary for you all. Uh, and then, of course, uh, there are some variables behind controlling a burn, which is actually what we're doing here is this controlled burning of materials. And I'm going to show you how to find the perfect settings. I'm uh, also going to give you a general understanding of layers in light burn and how you set up basic parameters. Uh, and I'll show you how to execute a job with confidence. I'll go over the keypad on the machine and what every single button does. Uh, and then I'll show you a proven method for setting up material in the machine. Uh, lastly, I'll show you some good habits, you know, best practices, and, and I'll show you, you know, some costly mistakes you can avoid, um, and when and how to ask for help, which I've noticed a lot of people are struggling with. So we're going to go over that. And uh, here's some fundamentals. You know, anyone could really start having fun right away, um, but to really become proficient, there are a few basic principles that you kind of have to go back to school um, to just refresh yourself uh, with. So uh, latitude and longitude, pretty, pretty important. That's your X and Y coordinates that, that helps out. Um, and uh, metric and standard, there's a lot of stuff that's in millimeters uh, that I think should stay in millimeters. Um, I was always used to using standard as probably everyone else is, where you know, used to inches and feet, but 
that's really not practical, especially when you're doing such small detail, you know, it's easier to say one millimeter than, you know, point whatever inches. Um, so it just, it, it really is a, a, a interesting transition because you haven't done it before, but it totally makes sense once you start working in it. Um, but you can still work in both. And I recommend at least having a little bit of knowledge of how, you know, it translates over. Um, I put convergence and divergence in here. That's solely talking about the focusing of the laser. Um, and it just helps to understand what that is um, when you're playing around with the focus. Not really important that you know that right away, but at some point or another, um, if, if you can make sense out of it, uh, it's really gonna help you out with, with fine tuning some settings. Raster and vector, a lot of you probably familiar with, but that's the difference between scanning and tracing an image. So usually when you're rastering something, you're filling it in. The laser has just sweeping left to right, left to right, left to right, and, and filling it in. And when you're vector cutting or scoring, the laser is just tracing a bunch of lines and curves. Uh, but then I've got the uh, scientific method. That is, is one of those things that is really helpful for trying to figure out settings. Um, so I, I'm a big fan of teaching that. Um, and a little geometry, once you get the rotary device and you're gonna start engraving on cups or glasses, you know, if you wanna do a full wrap around or anything like that, that's where um, the pi times diameter equals circumference becomes, um, you know, something you have to calculate to figure out. So uh, that's all you really need to know, just that one equation. So don't think you have to go back and, and take a whole class on geometry. Uh, and then some basic graphic design skills uh, that goes a long way. So, you know, if you know how to make shapes uh, and weld them together and edit nodes, I mean, that's going to get you going quick. Uh, if not, you know, that's, uh, that's something you can just play around with uh, in Lightburn and, and, you know, start understanding how that stuff works. All right. Hey, uh, that's me about your instructor. So, um, yeah, I, I, just a little background. I, I have been doing this for a long time. Um, I, I do have a desire to simplify complex systems, which is kind of ironic because I find myself in the most complex situation ever, uh, given an expanding company, uh, COVID. Um, I have got a, I've got a new baby that's about to turn a year old. Um, and I've been doing it remotely. I've been uh, staying home for the last year. Uh, so this has been a really interesting uh, time, uh, but I have worked with CNC equipment, engravers and lasers for, for a really long time. And uh, someday soon, I hope to return to things I enjoy doing other than, than work. Um, and then of course, um, this is Kira, Kira Lee Rasta. She is um, my American Eskimo. Um, I feel the need to introduce her because you'll probably hear her bark uh, a lot. So. Uh, she, she likes to let me know anytime there's a sound outside that might be, um, you know, somebody trying to break in and kill us all. Um, but yeah, she's an awesome, awesome creature. Um, and she's always by my side. She loves the laser. If I turn a chiller on, she runs in the room and she wants to see what's going on. So she, she's super interesting. And you guys will see a lot more of her. She's, she's kind of becoming the mascot in the office. Um, and here's what to expect. All right. This is really just a little message for me to you guys. Um, and, and I'm just going to read it because it, it really is uh, important. And it's uh, becoming proficient with a laser doesn't happen overnight. You, you didn't learn to drive by reading your owner's manual, your car. Um, this is like learning an instrument. You know, true mastery is gained through act, the actual experience, not the accumulation of data. You can't really read your way into proficiency. Um, so it's a marathon, uh, not a sprint. You got to give yourself some, some permission to make mistakes. You know, if you fail a hundred times, that's a hundred lessons to be learned. Um, and know your limits, learn when to walk away. Um, and above all, enjoy this challenge and focus on the process. I, I can't state that enough. Um, you know, the results you're seeking, whether it's to, you know, you know, create your, your, your craft or your hobby, uh, or artwork, um, or if it's to launch a business, that, that's all going to come to fruition. And, and I think, you know, a lot of times the frustration with a laser comes from being goal oriented and just wanting to achieve those results. So, you know, if you focus on the process, I promise you the goal will just happen on its own.